Here in Sunder Bataan, the Hamal region is home to an animal known as the Ghost of the Mountain. That animal being the Snow Leopard, a rare and elusive creature that few hunters get the chance to take a trophy of, but not many get the opportunity, like I have, to take out a true Ghost of the Mountain. What is going on guys, it's Tyron Karma, and welcome back to the channel, and today I got a very special video for you guys. So it's been a week since Sunder Patan came out, and I am really enjoying this map, and I've gotten a couple good trophies, like the one that you're going to be seeing here. Of course, it is not a great one, Tar, I have not been lucky to get one yet. I'm hoping I can get one eventually, which I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but right now I'm not really grinding Tar. But as you guys know, this video is about the Snow Leopard. The Ghost of the Mountain. The Snow Leopard's a very rare and elusive creature, as there are less of them than there are tigers on the map. As we know that there are only 16 Bengal Tigers on the map at any given time, but there are even less Snow Leopards. And the clip right here you are seeing is actually the first Snow Leopard I've killed whenever I started playing this map. It's only level 5, but hey, the Snow Leopard's a Snow Leopard. It's always a good idea to take any opportunity you can at shooting a Snow Leopard because there's a chance it can respawn into a Diamond or a Rare. So not bad for my first Snow Leopard. It definitely could have been a little bit better, but I'll take it. But this guy does not compare to what you're going to see now. So one fine day, me and my buddy Hardcore were hunting on my Sunder Patan. He's looking for Yak and I'm looking for Snow Leopards. He ends up picking up a main call from a Snow Leopard and finds it. And to my surprise, it turned out to be a Guaranteed Diamond 9 Legendary Snow Leopard. The reason I say Guaranteed Diamond is because these guys have to be 29 to make Diamond and this guy was 29 to 31. However, we could not anticipate what it truly was. My friend did not really know what the fur types for the Snow Leopards were. And apparently, closer inspection, this guy did not have one of the two common fur types. As a matter of fact, this was in fact a leucistic 9 legendary snow leopard. Not a snow, not a caramel, a leucistic 9 legendary snow leopard that was guaranteed diamond. Now, holy crap, that is insane. I had a feeling that there was a chance we could find a trophy snow leopard. But we did not anticipate to find a guaranteed super rare snow leopard on my map. That was honestly the last thing I expected to find here on Sundar Patan. And to make it a real challenge of getting this guy down, I decided to sneak up and to take him out with a bow. And honestly, this is where it proved to be really challenging to get close to this guy. Now it took a few attempts to try to get this guy down, and this was just one of those attempts. Here I shot off an arrow, thinking I had a perfect opportunity to take this guy out, but I missed. Why? Well, because I wasn't zeroed in properly. I don't often use zeroing, but the reason I was using zeroing was because at the time I'm recording this video, there's an accuracy bug where if you don't have zeroing equipped, your weapons aren't going to hit your target accurately, or in other words, hit where your crosshairs aim, hence why I was using it. So it took a while for me to properly get this guy down. I was not gonna give up and take this guy with a rifle. I was committed to taking this guy out with a bow. Anyways, everything was leading up to that fateful moment where I could take down this beast once and for all. So it's gotten to a point where we're close, but not close enough for me to take a shot with the bow. This took a lot of patience, time, and effort in order to get close to this guy. I was going to take my time with this guy. There is no reason to rush something as rare as this.
at this moment, I got ready. So I pulled my bow out just in case. I could have took him when I was prone, but I decided not to. I wanted to take a safe and clean shot on this guy. And just like that... The true ghost of the mountain is down. Perfect vital shot. I took some time admiring this guy before picking him up. And just like that, Diamond Leucistic Snow Leopard at 29.49. I stood there just admiring how gorgeous this thing was. The Snow Leopard honestly might have one of the best looking models in the entire game, without a doubt. I still couldn't believe that this happened, honestly. I almost botched that too, but luckily, I was able to clip that left lung. But now you guys understand why this is a top 3 trophy for me, is the fact that this is a super rare Snow Leopard. The last thing I expected to get on Sunder Baton. And this guy is just beautiful, honestly. Now for those who have not seen it, I have gotten the diamond blue sheep and I decided to put both of them together in a multi-mount. Now at first I didn't know where I was going to put this guy, but in the end I decided to put him in this corner of the room. Even though the mouth looks goofy on the blue sheep in this pose, it perfectly shows off the fur on the snow leopard. <sighs> Honestly, I, I could just stare at this forever. This is probably the most beautiful thing I have ever taken in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I would have never thought this was something I would have gotten on Sundar Patan, considering that there were going to be less snow leopards than tigers on a map. But somehow, it happened. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video, and before I do, I want to give a huge thank you to my buddy Hardcore for helping me find this guy. Without him, I would have never known that this was on my map. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see. Check out the Discord server, and so on and so forth. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Sit